And this sports bulletin is going to be focusing on an issue that many people were speaking about the whole of the weekend. On Thursday night, the Gauteng provincial government released a statement that efforts by the interim committee set up by MEC in Gauteng for sports, arts, culture and recreation, MEC Lebohang Maile, had been unable to save the Soweto Marathon. Time constraints and funding were cited as reasons behind the race's cancellation. We now have MEC Maile in studio. MEC, thank you very much for joining us and welcome to Morning live let's start out how did your department get involved with these issues surrounding the Soweto marathon and why thanks for having us uh, and morning to the viewers at home uh, you will recall that in September there was a decision taken by the organizers to uh, can the marathon and we thought it don't be appropriate we should uh, intervene and help the organizers and we we, we have done that before. Even last year there were issues just that they were not in public. We had to uh, help them financially and uh, we contributed toward the success of the marathon last year. When these problems uh, um, 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 re, re, re occurred this year again. And when they said they were uh, uh, cancelling, we thought uh, we could find a way of, sa of saving the marathon. Hence we intervened. And uh, we set up a an interim committee uh, constituted by ourselves, the Central Houting Athletics, as the custodian of athletics in the province, and the city of Joburg and the Soweto uh, Sports Council and the Houting uh, Sports Council. And the interim committee met and they've tried to interface with the uh, Athletic South Africa because, as you know, there's uh, money that has been paid to, uh, by SABC to Athletic South Africa for broadcasting rights for three marathons, and so it is one of those. So uh, part of that money was supposed to be used f to organize the Soweto Marathon. And unfortunately, the interim committee could not find any joy in its interaction with Athletic South Africa. And it's one of the main reasons why the committee felt that um, they must uh, postpone the marathon to next year, um, because Athletic South Africa was not uh, coming to the party. All right, you mentioned Athletic South Africa, um, and I think at, at this point, um, let us maybe hear what uh, the president of ASA, James Evans, had to say on SAFM over the past weekend with regards to the Soweto Marathon. Please listen clearly to what I say. The only people who can organize athletics events in South Africa are the athletics authorities. Central Gauteng are the organizers of the race. That's the agreement that it is. It was handed over to them last year. They are the organizers of the race. They are the ones that must put out the statement to say whether it's cancelled or not. The NEC can't do that. And there's, there's questions about the way that that process was handled, but, but we'll deal with that in a, in a different time and a different place. But the point is, Central Gauteng Athletics are the ones that should be cancelling the race or saying it's on. Nobody else. Athletics South Africa cannot make a decision because the race is Central Gauteng to put on or not. So the NEC says it's cancelled, it obviously means the task team decided that they couldn't put it on. They must tell us why they're cancelling it then. I, I, I'd like to know. It's, but it is within their competency to, to, to do so or not. Let me see, what do you have to say to that? I think the first thing that Mr. Evans must do is to convene a meeting of SAA board because the last time they had a meeting was the 21st of January and Central Houting Athletics is sitting in that board. That's what they have told us and that's one of their frustrations and that is why they had to come to us, not to uh, Athletics South Africa when there were problems. So I think the first thing that they need to do is to convene a meeting and they must deal with their uh, internal issues in a, in, a, in, a, in a proper way. But secondly, the decision to cancel the race was not taken by me. Uh, it was taken by an interim committee um, which had central uh, Gauteng Athletics. We don't have the authority. We don't organize the race. We couldn't have taken the decision. But because we had made a public uh, commitment that we want to save the race, we had to come back and explain to the public why is the race not continuing this year. Because for us, um, it's heartbreaking. It's a serious indictment uh, on all of us that the race is not continuing. And we'll certainly want to see the race um, continuing next year and subsequent years uh, uninterrupted. And for that to happen, it means um, issues related to athletics 
in South Africa must be dealt with because there are a lot of problems there. Fortunately, there will be a, a meeting this week uh, with the minister. We had a con conversation on Friday and we shared the same views that uh, there are certain issues that need to be um, addressed. And at the national level, because the minister operates at that level, he will be able to interact with, uh, with um, Athletic South Africa and SASCOC. We will continue to work with Central Houghton Athletics because we're working very well in our sports council here. Okay, so the minister is going to be getting involved with athletics and uh, with the saga that, um, with I suppose all of the kind of things that have come out in the media this past year, you say the minister is going to be having a meeting? The minister is going to be interacting uh, with the matter specifically around uh, uh, Soweto Marathon uh, the, uh, later this week. He issued a statement, I think, on Friday um, calling for... Um, um, saying he's going to intervene. That was after the DA issued a statement. Uh, and we are also reliably informed that uh, Mr. Evans is linked to the DA. And that's why the DA had to issue a statement. But all those issues would have to be clarified uh, later in the week uh, in a press conference organized by the minister and ourselves. Okay, so it sounds like uh, a lot of... Um, I mean, it's, it's getting quite politicized, the whole issues around the Soweto Marathon. And at the end of the day, our athletes are suffering because it is an iconic race. And many road runners are really saddened by the news that the Soweto Marathon was going through such problems. When the interim committee came together, I mean, considering that you did help them out last year, when you ask them, but guys, what's happened in the year? Why, why is it taking so long to come forward? What did they say? Because we don't organize the marathon. Um, even last year, we, when we helped, it was uh, because there were problems. Uh, this year, we had budgeted in anticipation that they would have budgetary uh, problems. So as far as uh, logistics are concerned and other um, issues related to the race, we, we don't know. It only came to our attention September when a public uh, announcement was, was made by the organizers, um, in this case the trust, the Soweto Marathon Trust, and that's when we said we will, we will help. And one of the reasons, this is what I'm saying, um, they're giving to us is lack of cooperation by Athletic South Africa. Um, there is money that has been paid by SABC for broadcasting rights for this uh, marathon, and that money was given to Athletic South Africa because SABC was buying rights for three marathons. I don't know which other two marathons are those, including Soweto. So yeah. it seems Athletic South Africa was supposed to pass the money to Central Houding, and that did not happen. But often with other sporting codes, when, when television rights are, um, are bought, it's not to go to the organization of events, it's to go for the running of that organization. So I've heard um, with a part of that interview that we played earlier, James Evans, the president of ASA, actually saying that the money that was made from the broadcast rights was actually to send teams overseas and to organize national events. But that's why I'm saying uh, Athletic South Africa needs to call a proper board meeting to deal with all those issues. I don't have the details yeah, of all those because Central Houding Athletics, as a form, as a, as a, as a recognised body by ourselves, which sits in the, in the national uh, structure of Athletics South Africa, gives us this feedback that uh, there is money um, which has been paid by SABC and that money can be accessed. So we are getting our um, our, our information, our reliable source is Central Houding Athletics. So if uh, uh, Mr. Evans has uh, any explanation to give. It's not to us, but to his constituency, to his board. And his board has not been meeting since the 21st of January. And maybe that's why there is confusion in the organization because the organization yeah. seems silence not to be functional. Does breed that. Exactly. If there is silence, it breeds confusion and a lot of confusion, which is what we're seeing. And it's quite unfortunate exactly. that it is the Soweto Marathon, an iconic race in South Africa, that is now suffering. Unfortunately, and we will run the situation where Mr. Evans can sit in a press conference with us and clarify all these issues. 100%. Thank you very much, uh, okay. MEC Lebohang Maile, for sports, arts, culture and recreation in the Gauteng province, uh, just unpacking the issue of the 20 2013 Soweto Marathon. That's how we come to the end of this sports update.